the day. Welcome to King Wars Everything. Got a couple of freebie routers. So I thought it'd be kind of fun, actually wireless routers. That'd be kind of fun to show you how to reset them and upgrade the firmware. Um, I like to keep a couple of spares and sometimes I resell them. I find these at garage sales for a couple bucks or maybe Goodwill. And I either keep one as a spare or I like to tinker with them or I just sell them. And this one I kind of like because it's a little itty bitty one. Look how small it is. So it's just a little small one. Uh, this is an N300 router and this is the Netgear WNR2000 version 5. Um, four little Ethernet ports. The internet port to your uh, cable modem or uh, DSL modem, and that's it. It's got a couple little buttons on the front, and really nice little little router. And so today I'll show you how to reset it, and then how to upgrade the firmware. So it took me a little while to figure out how to reset this guy. Uh, so what you do is you turn it on, and you let it get all booted up. And if you look here on the very bottom, there's a little hole, an itty bitty round hole. All these little triangular holes, a little itty bitty round one. So you got to take your paper clip. I like to use my little screwdriver and gently. You hold it down for about five seconds and the little lights will turn amber and start blinking amber and then booyah let it reboot and your factory reset because sometimes you know people get rid of these and has all their their passwords on there but you can always try like the default password it actually says right here let's see where does it say uh, the username is admin and the password is password so you can always try that if you don't know what it is or just reset i like to factory reset it and then what we're going to do next is we're going to take Mr. Ethernet cable and plug it in one of the Ethernet jacks, not the Internet jack. And we're going to plug it into our computer. You can also connect to it wirelessly. Uh, it says here, let's see, this one, they, they, they put every little bit of information on here. See the SSID, Netgear 23, and the password is, uh, let's see, basic something 255. Oh, basic violet 255. I don't know what kind of weird password. But I just plug it in because DCP is uh, on by default on this bad boy. Plug it in here and you go to 192.168.1.1. And I think that's also on here somewhere. Maybe not. I don't remember. They have all kinds of information all over this bad boy. But anyway, the default uh, 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 IP address is 192.168.1.1. So let's go, to, let's go do that. Okay, so go to 192.168.1.1. That takes you to the admin website. And if you look in the top right-hand corner, you kind of see the current firmware version, and that's what we're going to upgrade. There's an automatic upgrader, but I like to download them from the website and do it myself. That way I know I get the current version. And we're going to go into the Advanced tab, if you look on the left-hand side. Put a little arrow there for you guys. And you click on that. And then we're going to go into Administration. And I would like to take a look at router status. You can kind of see there. Uh, firmware upgrades where we're going to go, but let's look at router status. Kind of gets a little bit more information. And I believe it also shows you the uh, firmware version in here also. So if you're kind of not sure. But it is there. And so we'll go back to firmware upgrade. And all right. Picked it, and we're just going to download. So I, I saved it to my downloads. Going to say choose the file, and then we're going to click on upload. And this is where it takes about this. I think took about six minutes. That did some uploading, then it did some installing and rebooted. We're going to kind of just speed through it here for you guys. Look at it go. And here's where it's doing some upgrading. They're updating. This part took about three or four minutes. It took quite a while. I was surprised it took so long. And we're almost done. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. Put your admin password in. And it'll take us back to the main main site. And you can see at the very top uh, right hand corner again, it shows you the current firmware. So it did upgrade it. And we can go to administration and router status and Let's see, come on, baby, it's loading. And there you go. You can see the uh, pane there. There has it shows the current firmware, so it has been upgraded. So that's basically it. That's how you upgrade manually upgrade the firmware on this router. There you go. That is how you factory reset and upgrade the firmware on the Netgear WNR 2000 version five. A little older router, but like I said, you 
see one of these, pick it up. It's, you know, it's worth it. Keep it, keep it as a spare. Or if you get it for almost nothing, sell it for five bucks. Because at some point, somebody needs a router and you'll have a couple spares laying around. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.